please click subscribe in the top right corner. It won't interrupt this video and it'll give you actual magical powers. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you a makeup look on my everyday eyes and lipstick. So this is the look that you will see in most of my videos when I'm doing something about hair or I'm talking about something and so where I'm not doing makeup necessarily and so I don't talk about the makeup that I'm wearing but I've been getting asked a lot like what are you wearing on your eyes and what is that lipstick and it's kind of like <laughs> I've noticed that it's kind of the same look through um, through most of those videos so I figured I would just make a video and show you all the products that I use for that and um, hopefully answer all your questions about that okay so I've already got my like face foundation makeup on like the basic kind of every day so if you haven't seen that go ahead and check out my other video on that so today we're just going to focus on the eyes like the eyeshadow that I use I like mascara on a daily basis I don't wear like lashes or anything so we'll just be curling our lashes and putting on mascara and just like the lipstick that I use in almost every day just because I think it goes it's so universal it goes with everything and it feels so good because it's super like moisturizing all right so let's get started with the eyes so in the eyes I typically like to wear something neutral on a daily basis just because I normally wear a lot of black to work and just I think neutral like looks good kind of with everything and I am neutral skin toned anyway so it just kind of goes and works for me. So the first thing I use, uh, I mean obviously prime, prime the eye which I've already done, my favorite the Urban Decay Primer and so I've done that already and then the first the first eyeshadow I like to start off with is this small like little eyeshadow from Sephora and it's called Party Till Dawn in number 79 and it just it's just like an apricot soft um, kind of orangey uh, color and it's got quite a bit of shimmer but that's okay and I'm just using like a flat brush just because we want to kind of pat it in. I think this is just a good color kind of for everyone. It looks great on brown and hazel eyes and especially on blue eyes I would just make them pop. So kind of uh, put that all over the center of my lid. Then I like to go in with, uh, and this palette is actually from Whole Foods and it's by Pacifica and again I'm most skeptical with getting like beauty products from like Whole Foods just because I always think they're not going to be really pigmented but these are actually really pigmented and they just go on like beautifully really true to the color you see so really really love that and I'm just using this kind of soft pinky color and I kind of apply that more towards the edge but not, not necessarily like this isn't going to be necessarily just my crease color. So kind of piling onto that uh, peachy goldy color. And then I like to use a very neutral kind of light to medium brown and I have so many of those and I guess on a daily basis they change. Today I'm going to be using it from this huge palette which is, again I just got this from like a hair show, it's kind of like a no, like no name brand. So I'm just going to be using this brown here which is almost a coppery soft medium brown. And for that, I'm going to be using on the outer edge of my eye and up and into the crease. The thing I like about these like neutral colors is that they all kind of blend within each other. I'm gonna use a different brush just because it will get it into the crease a little better. Yeah, my favorite thing about these like neutral colors is that they just blend with each other so nicely. And for an everyday look that you know you're creating in the morning, 
you know, say like before work, you don't really want, uh, like when you're going out and you're doing this look that you kind of want more stark and you want like a difference, like you want the light and then the dark and the crease and you want that contrast to really be seen. I think that that takes more time because you really have to blend and all of that. So this is just, it's kind of easy, universal, and it just goes on kind of flawless every day and um, with not a lot of time. So this is great for an everyday um, before work or anything kind of look. Then I like to line my eyes with a brown eyeliner. I like to stick more to brown just because again it's softer, it kind of goes with the color scheme of the eyelash, I mean of the eyeshadows that I'm wearing that day. And just because when I do my makeup it's normally in the morning before work and I just think that black is a little harsh for early in the day kind of makeup if that makes any sense. I mean I know some girls can totally pull off like a dark smoky eye in the morning and that looks great. But for me I just I think I like it a little bit more just a softer and natural look. So I'm using uh, this, it's called Black Coffee by Lancome. But it's black coffee, but it's, it's a brown. So just the outer edge of my top lid. And then the inner rims of my eyes. Kind of smudge it also on the outside just to give it a little bit more drama. I'm gonna go in with a softer, smaller tipped brush and grab that darker color that I use and just kind of buff it in and soften that eyeliner. It also helps it stick throughout the day. Now we are ready to curl our lashes and apply mascara. And my favorite mas mascara is by Maybelline. I've used Maybelline since I was probably 13 years old and I feel like I've tried every mascara out there. and some really expensive designer ones and I always find myself coming back to the Maybelline. I just think that for me no other mascara does as good of a job as this one and it's literally five dollars a tube and I absolutely love it. Alright and then for the lips I get asked this all the time so the lipstick that you almost always will see me wearing is a nude and for a while I was using the Victoria's Secret, um, I think it was Delish, and they discontinued that color, which is such a shame because it was actually really great. I found just as great of a second replacement. And this one's by Givenchy. It's a little more expensive, but it's also dewier and like more moisturizing on the lips, so it is better, I would say. I, of course, I just miss my like cheapy Victoria's Secret lipstick. And this is in uh, number 26, Nude. Alright, so there you have it. There is my everyday eye and lipstick look. Obviously my basic makeup was already done with my bronzer, my foundation, and my blush. So this is just a neutral look that will look good on anyone, uh, no matter what your eye color, no matter what your skin tone. So just universal, easy, you can wear this every day and it'll go with all clothing colors just because it is so neutral. Alright, so here you have it. Hope this answered all of your questions and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. And don't forget to watch my new video every Monday.